Hello, all my batlings. Have you missed me? It is finally spooky month, which means I am back from my year-long slumber to play some more spooky games with you. For those who haven't had the pleasure of making my acquaintance yet, my name is Sidion, resident vampire of Sparrow's Nest. I hang out in the corner over there whenever he's not paying attention. And now, I'm taking over for a little bit so we can get back to Ghost Castle. It has been a quite a long time. Well, for you, for me, I was sleeping. For us, <laughs> um, since we've last played this. So we're going to jump back in. All right, I do believe this is part six. We left off with uh, Gengar <laughs> trying to have a date with Shandy. Or actually, I think it was like a dinner party with Shandy and um, Tina, I think. Or was it all three of them? But this is the, po the ghost Pokemon, but they've been turned into, they're pretty much humans. So, it's still a boys love game. Let's see. See, this is us. This is Gengar. It's me a little cutie pie. I'm sure you remember this room from last time. Cozy, isn't it? And there's Shandy. This is um, the one we have been aiming for right now. The first route. <laughs> we haven't even got through one route yet. I think there's three. And he's mute, by the way. He doesn't have a mouth. So we kind of just pick up on his sign language about what he thinks about things. Damn right it's cozy. I set the lights low, started a fire, put on some soft classical music. This cannot go wrong. There's a lot of memories in this place. It's quiet now, but the team and I used to spend all our time here. It's just me now, though. And it gets a little lonely. Aww. He's feeling bad for us. Hey, Shandy? Maybe this is silly, but I've seen you hum and sway to the music when you're cleaning. I bet you thought no one was watching. <laughs> You got a good sense of rhythm, you know that. <laughs> oh, th th this is what he does when he's embarrassed. <laughs> there we go. That's what Gengar likes to see. I'm the one who makes him blush. It's a good thing. I've got a good sense of rhythm too. Feel free to say no, but you taught me a lot lately. Can I teach you something this time? Mm, he doesn't seem too sure. Before he can start fretting too much, I turn up the music, then take Shandy's hand and gently pull him to the middle of the floor. He's nervous, but he seems up for it, which gives me a much-needed confidence boot. Yeah. There, just like that. One foot after the other. Easy, right? I love to dance, but I don't get to do it very often. Oh, he's happy. He seems embarrassed, but he's enjoying himself. He even chuckles as he tries to learn the steps. Despite how big his feet are, they aren't clumsy. <laughs> I'm impressed. You're a fast learner. Um, a really fast learner. Wait. When did Shandy start leading? And when did he put his arm around my back? <laughs> you, um, there! You got the hang of it! I don't think we taught him anything. I don't think we taught him anything at all. I think he he already knows exactly that, um, how to do this dance, huh? I should be taking my position pack. But Shandy is very tall and very warm. It's hard to not just let him have this. 
I'm supposed to be making his heart flutter, damn it. This isn't good. But I can't seem to recall why it isn't good. You've done this before, haven't you? Oh, he's smiling. I'm pretty sure that's cheating since... Ah! Dazed by this lamp's natural charm, I bump into a bookshelf. Photo albums tumble into the floor by our feet. <laughs> Whoops. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. We can, we can stop dancing. This isn't going how I planned anyway. Aww. Well, I mean, that's okay. As long as you're having a good time. You are having a good time, right? Oh, he's having a very good time. <laughs> After signing to me what a great time he's having, Shandy pauses, giving me a few more complicated gestures. I have to string them together, but I think Shandy feels guilty for having fun? I understand the gesture for a butler. It seems he doesn't feel like he deserves to be treated like a guest. How dare he? Hmm. Remember what I said earlier. This is my house. You're my guest now. Like it or not. Let me put these albums away, though. Oh, wow. This is really an old one. Hey, Shandy. Want to see something more terrible than this date? <laughs> Come take a look. And try not to laugh. I peel open one of the photo albums, the pages sticking together with age. Oh! <laughs> Look at young Gengar! <laughs> oh man, this is hard to look at. Hmm? Who's that? Oh, that's my late trainer. I guess he looks a bit younger here than in the other folders. The other one? I know I look awkward, but I'm not that awkward, right? That's him! Was he art? Was he a Gengar there, or was he like a little um, ghastly? <laughs> I know it's bad. Hmm. Come on, let's sit down. I can show you some more growing pains. They're from. When I first started living here. The fire I made is starting to die, but with that flame of yours, it's cozy enough. Aww. Yeah, um, Gengar's trainer passed away and left this house to him. I flipped through a few more pages with Shandy. Each one with a worse hairstyle than the last. Shandy doesn't laugh or cringe. Bless him. You can't judge me, alright? I'd only just evolved. I wasn't comfortable with my skin yet. Oh, so I guess we've ar uh, he already evolved into a Gengar at that point. Because it's Ghastly Haunter Gengar. We've got that in common, right? Evolving suddenly? I don't know about you, but it shook me up. Shandy nodded, then points to another photo of me. <laughs> I didn't really pose for the camera back then. I didn't trust any of my teammates yet. Or my trainer. I wonder what it's like, evolving with a stone. Looking back, I was being traded, but it felt more like being thrown out. Okay, so that was whenever he was being... Uh, that's when he changed into a Gengar, because... Uh, if I remember correctly, um, Haunters evolve into Gengar by trade. So, that's what it's saying right here. So, it was him first becoming a Gengar. So, the only way for him to evolve is being traded away. So, that is kind of sad. My, um, my first trainers, they weren't the best examples of good human Shandy. Those punks would order me to beat the shit out of Shandy for fun. But, I won't say that. I certainly won't say that I would have done it, too. Yeah, I can blame it on being young, right? A young, dumb haunter. Not a civilized one, either. 
Suddenly having to live in this mansion, learning to dress properly, and eat properly, and speak properly. It sucked. With anyone else, I would have forgot I said forget it and just left. But with this human, I don't know. I want it to uh to please him, I guess. He was a good guy, so I tried really hard to change. For his sake. Shit. Sorry. I swear I had a point to this. I'm talking to your your hypothetical ear off, Chandy. This night's supposed to be about you. Meow. Point is... Uh, you worked hard to change yourself for your little siblings, right? To be the big butler brother you could all, they could all rely on. What I'm trying to say is... I get it. I guess. It's really cool. You're doing a way better job at fake faking this fancy shit than I am. Shandy waves his hands to deny this, but I can tell he's a little bit pleased. Not that I'm doing too bad nowadays. I can rock this dandy style pretty well, don't you think? Yeah, um, I do remember now that, um, Shandy's little siblings, the little liquid, light wicks, the little, little bitty, bitty, bitty tiny candles are like chilling outside and around the grounds of the castle he works at. Want to see some more photos? My old hairstyles only get worse from here. You're in for a treat. I want to see what he looked like as a, um, as a ghastly. <laughs> Shandy reaches out to turn the page, his large, warm hand enveloping mine. My heart flutters, but damn it, the contact is only for a few seconds, and he's still wearing gloves. Oh, I need to calm down. We're having, we're having a gay panic moment. <laughs> we spend a, a while together, just flipping through old memories. It feels nice to dust these albums off, especially with someone who shares the same feelings. Neither of us know what we're doing, but it's all working out, I think. This date isn't exactly what I had planned. No kiss, not even a peck. But I still have butterflies every time Shandy leans a little closer. I shouldn't have tried to plan this out. After all, I've been winging it for years. <laughs> yeah, he worked really hard on trying to plan out the date. Oh man, it's those two again. Let's go. The prince's servants all stay away from that big one. The prince likes him, but I don't know. He's kind of... That one is always saying nasty stuff about half-ghost types. That's a joke, right? Is he serious? Shut up, would you? They're right here. Oh, these guys. Drev came in from a different castle, and we kind of think he's a spy, I think. Dreve, because he's like a mischievous. Ugh. I had totally forgot what voices I gave them. Ugh. You can't go ten feet without tripping over one of these lamp brats. Get lost. Too bad we can't use them for fuel like the old days. They light up the place a lot better when they're not moving or talking. <laughs> That's really disgusting. Well, even if I let you do something like that, let me. There's no point. I'm finding nothing but dead ends no matter how much I research. I know every inch of this castle by now. Every cellar and secret room. Everything that goes on in here day and night to night. And despite these exciting hobbies, you've still got no friends. This castle is full of ghosts. The most dangerous, regal type of all. And yet, everything here is just... peachy. The prince meets with delegates from other castles, but he's never about anything serious. Half-types wander around like they own the place. It's just... I know there's more than this. I heard rumors when I was small. The dark, violent place that Ghost Castle used to be. Loyalty was rewarded. Beheadings for those who strayed. Oh, is that so? You think you could rule that kind of place, kiddo? 
Of course. There's two things this castle ought to be. Pure ghost and powerful. It'd be so much better than... Whatever this is. <laughs> Gotta admit, whatever uh, Gerardia's uh, got going on lately is pretty weak. You ought to be all outraged of all people. This castle status actually meant something in your day. However many millennia ago that was. <laughs> yeah, it's like, boomer? Yeah, boomer? Because didn't we find him in the basement, I think? <laughs> A couple, yeah. My royal advisor's quarters were all that was left of that good old era. And you fucked that right up, didn't you? You know, you say you need info. Why don't you go do some more basement digging? That's always funny. I told you, I scoured every corner of the castle. You've seen me doing it since you won't leave me alone. Watching you lose your shit over dust is too fun to pass up. Remember when you coughed so hard you fell and ripped your dress? <laughs> Good times. Must have been even worse in the library cellar. Ha. Wait. Library? Cellar? Yeah. Of course, I know you must have visit that dusty old place. I mean, how stupid would you be to miss a storefroom full of books? Not possible. Not for a smart guy like you. I have checked everywhere. That's how I made the mistake of finding you. And I... Stop touching my hair with those things and listen. <laughs> Who, me? Hmm. Let me look at my notes. Is that your little usurper's checklist? Quiet. Oh, here. I don't remember writing this. Library cellar. And directions to get there. I've never seen anything like that on the castle blueprints, I'm sure of it. It... it is in my handwriting, though. Tragically frilly, though it is. Ah! Look at the map. It's on here after all. There really is a cellar. The entrance is by the rear of the library. That area is blocked off by shelves. The passage must have been hidden for years. Anyone who used it would be long dead by now. Or should be. Hmm. How odd. I must have written it down and forgotten. That doesn't usually happen to me. Guess you're so focused on your royal goals that you aren't getting enough sleep. And who's to blame for that? You never sleep. You keep bothering me at all hours. Those glowing eyes of yours are unnatural. You really ought to be kinder to your guest. But seriously, maybe this sort of brain activity is too much of a strain for you. Let's be careful. It's the future prince we're talking about here. I'm gonna look into this matter. Keep wish talking if you wish. And stop messing with my hair! <laughs> Oh gosh, he's just been like using his little hands to just mess with his hair. Isn't he a sword? Isn't he like a sword Pokemon? I think. Aww. If it's on the blueprints, it's worth a shot. I'll go investigate the cellar. Okay, let's go. I'll go try it. Right. After you, your highness. He is so done. He is so done. There really is a secret entrance. I can't believe this was here. And then I found it. And then I forgot it. <laughs> it's a shame that no one will know what sort of discoveries I make down here. Even if the decor is quite... primitive. 
What? All the tapestries? I like it. Look, this one's from the war with Still Castle. You wouldn't think Still types could bleed, but believe you me, they can. Oh, and here, some of those beheadings you mentioned. Gotta make sure they're not you're not in the splash zone. That's a tip from a pro. Thanks. We're almost to the end of this hall. There has to be something here. Come, some new information. Um, I've slept since the last time we got into these, uh, messing with these two. But I think he's looking for, um, something to use as blackmail against Tina. Or Gerard, Gerard Tia or whatever. Uh, nickname's Tina. To, like, get him dethroned or whatever as the prince. Something to get the upper hand on the prince. Yeah, see, see, I was right. Or at least something to convince me that this castle is worth ruling. Let's see. If I could conjure a bit of light, it should be enough to see. There's no maps, but it shouldn't be an issue. Not with my... Do you usually talk to yourself so much? I haven't heard it. Except when you primp in the mirror. At least I take some pride in my appearance. You're drooling everywhere, per usual. <laughs> Can you blame me? Check out the battle spread on this tapestry. Electric Castle was ripped apart. You think they'd run out of red thread? We're, we're just on an adventure with these two, aren't we? Oh, he did get in there. Where is Tina during this? Why isn't Tina, like, showing up and wrecking them? <laughs> Look at all these books. I knew this would be worth it. There are boxes upon boxes of them. And full shelves as well. Look at this one. Calm down, nerd. This volume is... Uh, damn it. Hmm? You're so anxious. These page pages are crumbling when I touch them. I guess that's what happens when something's really old. It just disintegrates. I wonder if... What? Nothing. I'm gonna search. Where you... I've had I was half expecting him to just lean over and touch and like poke um him to see if he'd like to sing disintegrate. There are a lot of history books here, but ugh, most of them are too old. I can't even read the text. <laughs> I've seen those before. On the origin of the castle. They were old even when I was a visor. Oh really? Maybe you're not maybe you're not useless after all. Sometimes I forget that you really were a part of the castle's history. Why don't you be a good boy and fetch me something I can use? Okay. <laughs> ah, don't get dust on me. Oopsie. Just trying to clean this ladder for you. Maybe there's something useful up there. Or maybe you're gonna shove it from under me so I break my neck. Who knows? This place is full of mystery! <gasps> Hold the ladder still. There's nothing up here, just more dust. Ah, oh, wait. What makes you think I would want this? It's just some old journal. Who decided someone's vain ramblings were worthy of place with the history books? Aw, I thought you would like it. Vain ramblings are what you're all about. Ooh, burn. Plus, maybe it's Gerardia's di diary. Don't you want to see if he has a crush on you, too? I suppose this could have information about the castle's past. Even it will be ridiculously subjective. Let's see. Ooh. This is... I've... I've never seen a book like this before. Is it 
Gerarita's diary after all? What does he say about me? Good things, I hope. No, it's some sort of log. A log from before the prince was banished. Seems like this one volume of many. It documents all the wars, all the bloodshed, for pages and pages. I had heard about this part. This is how powerful the castle used to be. Quite the little warmonger, aren't ya? But come on, kid. Do you think the good old days were a lie? Look at this. The scribble the scribe wrote everything. Ghost population numbers, war strategies, death counts. This is exactly what I wanted. There has to be something in here about the prince. Some weakness he has. Huh, wait. It just stops. One page has the latest list of executed war criminals, and then it's blank? Damn it! What were you expecting? A detailed list on how a scrawny kid can overthrow an immortal dragon? Shut up! Ooh, so touchy. There's got to be more than this. Why would it just end? This isn't fair. I was so close. <laughs> Is there really nothing left? Nothing. See? The pages just end. Oh, wait. It starts again. But this is a different scribe. It says that Arceus banished the prince to the distortion world for his violence. Others by his side were punished too? I didn't know that. Yeah, that wasn't too fun. She was pissed. You were there? For the banishment? Why don't you ever tell me anything useful? Everything's written here in past tense. The scribe wasn't even there. The prince was banished 100 years ago. The castle fell into disarray. Blah, blah. The scribe says that even though Gerarchia was violent to his enemies, he cared for his own kind and his absence nearly destroyed the castle. Hmm. <laughs> I told you these logs would be subjective. Damn loyal subjects. Ought to behead them too, eh? More notes. Oh, here we go. Ugh. This is where this place lost its standing. We entered an era of peace in connection with other castles. Just more rambling about how different, difficult it is without the prince. What a load of... Ah! The writing changes again. This thing really is helping you talk to yourself like never before. I don't even need to be here. You could be entertained for weeks. <laughs> this is important. You ought to know that more than anyone. You can't even read, can you? You just follow along with me. Ignore the wax stains. This scribe was messy. Well, maybe you shouldn't bother. This just records the peaceful times. Is that really it? Is there really nothing else here? Who knows? You should probably talk to yourself more, just to be sure. There's nothing of note until... the end. Oh, I think he found something. So what's... Quiet! I'm reading! Dude! Oh, he's smirking. He found something. This is perfect. I know just how to use this. And you're gonna help me. Oh? Come on. I have to get things ready. Besides, the cellar is disgusting. You got it, champ. Oh no. So, the time has come. I spent a lot of time with the castle's overworked butler. And I have to admit, I'm falling fast. I've been racking my brain on a way to prove to Chan Shandy how much I like him. I've already tried the traditional routes. Gifts, dinners, dates. It could have gone worse, but that's not the kind of guy Shandy is, is it? He needs more than that. 
He deserves more than that. So, this love stuck Gengar is gonna give him his fa uh, give his favorite lamp something he really needs, something he desperately needs, but will absolutely hate. Oh no! Are you gonna give him time off? All right, troops, line up. We have only the finest ghosts at our disposal tonight. Bennett? Here! Great. Aegeus? I should not be neglecting my duties like this. Does the prince know of this tomfoolery? Okay, that's the sword. <laughs> Great. Okay. Cough? Drev? Just kidding. Those two shut the door in my face. Not sure why I asked them. So, um, guess this is it. Somehow, you two are my main foot soldiers. Yeah, say it with a face like that and I'm not helping you at all. You said it's something to do for Shandy, right? This is all taking far too long. Do you understand the diligence required to defend this stronghold? Nonsense, Aegeus. I need the expert expertise of the head knight. This job is of critical importance. I... I suppose... Alright, so... You two are on guard duty. Aww, what? That's boring! But... Wait, you two? I'm with him? What? You can't be serious with this... Delinquent! What did you call me? Listen, I know you're not best friends, but it's just for a few hours, all right? I would have our fearless knight, Aegeus, uh, Aegeus Slash, Aegeus Slash, head this mission alone. If it were a normal situation, our target is anything but normal. Don't underestimate this butler and his determination to be kind. He will try to sneak past you. And he will try to help others. You can't let that happen. Yeah. Yeah, we are going to try giving him a day off, aren't we? Also, Tina's secretly in on it. But he ha still has work to do. Unlike, you know, anyone else who lives here. Well, if, if the prince has agreed to these vaccinations. So why me? You're just trying to piss me off, right? When have I ever tried such a thing? Aegeus needs backup. You know every nook and cranny of this castle, especially the secret passages. Make sure Shandy doesn't go near a single one. He's quarantined. Cora, Cora, what? He can't leave. Hell yeah! Shandy's not gonna lift a finger tonight. No one ever gets any work done while I'm around. <laughs> no one's gonna argue that. I'll keep this joker in line, too. You... You are quite literally a... A gesture. A joker. How dare you. That's the team spirit I'm looking for. Good luck, you two. I'm well aware that they're gonna be a disaster, but beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Time to work on the next phase of my plan. All right, so we are forcing. Okay, let me see. Save. I'm gonna put it down here. We are gonna force Shandy to take a break, whether he wants to or not. <laughs> oh dear, this is gonna be good. Uh, it's really nice to jump back into this and like remember the storyline as we go. I really do like this game. Um, I'm hoping we can eventually, eventually, uh, complete it. Um, I think there's at least three routes, and we're not even done with one yet. <laughs> so, all my battlings, I hope you enjoyed diving back into this world, and I am going to get busy on the next video for you guys, because I am wide awake for this month, and so, until next time, farewell.